My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Arachir Galadirathan, and welcome back to Eltharian's campaign as we are drawing closer to the end of the campaign. Um, and we are now pressing up the north of the Isthmus of Illustria and moving into the Titan Peaks and then up into um, Nagarond itself eventually, maybe. Depends if we want to take on the Skaven. Um, and of course, elsewhere over in the east, we are basically, we have basically won. It is now just a slow turn tick until um, we can defeat the orcs as the Eshin are now being hounded out by the lizardmen. Now, one thing I just wanted to say before we go further is I'm, I appreciate and I realise now that the reason we lost all those trade agreements is not just because Ellis Isle is my only port. It's because they have to connect to your capital in order to get trade. That is why I lost all of those trade agreements. If our capital had been moved to Nor Ivres some time ago, then I would have lost almost none of the trade agreements because we could have got land trade with most of the places over here, uh, which is disappointing. Um, and of course, at the moment, the reason I have no trade agreements, if you've just tuned in on this one and not watched any of them before, is because I just declared war on someone I had a non-aggression pact with. Um, which is just, I absolutely warrant and take that that is my own stupidity, but it highlights a flaw in the diplomacy of this game in that Thegan's errantry, for example, the people who I asked me to go to war, they like me in a great deal, 400 in fact, and only improving, and yet they won't agree to a trade agreement with me because they now don't trust me because I attack someone they asked me to attack. How does that work, I ask you? It doesn't, but that's the situation I'm faced with. I grant, again, though, that it was my own moronic action of not remembering that I had a non-aggression pact with Numas, and that is why I've now got very low relations and means I can't get all those trade agreements back. So we're losing money is the long and the short of it, but I think we are at an end turn um, as we've just taken Quintex, which is now improving to hopefully give us some more money. We're doing everything we can to try and get more money. Um, our army is replenishing there. We've only got two turns until we actually run out of money. But over here in the east, you will note Eltharian is ready to move out. And he's going to head down here. Um, and also, Hephaelia the Blue Flame is heading on Mount Greyhag to finally shut the orcs down. But she might have to pop back and deal with these two here. But of course, the orcs still hold Mount Gumbad. So we are going to have to skirt round and go off and take that. Other than that, though, our victory will then be complete with the recapture of Kothic and Trace. With those two in our grasp, we will obtain the short victory conditions and win the game. And Myron the Gatekeeper is charged with that task. In an Athel Tamara at the moment, we have Grimgor and Snickich. Snickich has been known to escape the prison, although I don't think that was um, through any kind of cool mechanic. And rather that there's a bug with the Athel Tamara and legendary lords duplicate on the faction on the campaign map when they are trapped in the prison. Which is very disappointing. But I have had an absolute blast playing this game. I am thoroughly looking forward to um, completing this campaign so that I can start playing as Bretonia just in my own time. Because I'm really looking forward to doing that. But first we must kill Wurzag who has attacked us. Yes. They, why are they attacking? Why are they, it's the AI will have known the balance of power before it did the, went into it. They are that up against it that they're coming. So there's orc biggins, there's night goblins, there's night goblin archers, orc boys. Pretty much the same army from there. They've got some stone trolls. It's interesting, and then just some more garbage. I can't capture Wurzag, unfortunately, but we can send him to the pits, and we will be we will gladly fight him on the field with an army that is made up entirely almost of mist walkers and Hephaelia and I think Turin is her second in command uh, if memory serves but here we are and here we go I'd quite like to play as Bretonia just to personally improve my own cavalry commanding skills because of course it is just a thing of practice and I'm always going to play total war games so I should probably look to try and get a little better now, the army that is coming against us is predominantly infantry based, um, but they do have a few units that are going to flank us. I think we should probably go over here to try and get the action underway sooner rather than later. Sentinels are going to be our mainline archers today. They're going to go at the back. And then again, the Spire Guard of Tor Ivres will form the right and left flanks. It is Spire Guard, isn't it? Yes, and then we have Skyhawks as well to do flanking attacks. Absolutely best used on the flank. Useless if they're just in the main line. Ah, yes, she's on an eagle now, isn't she? Uh, not an eagle, that's quite a funny looking eagle. She's on a dragon now, so she should have considerably better um, spell potential as she's now able to manoeuvre around the battlefield a bit better. Right, the units that might flank us over here, I think it's probably better if we take a wide stance like that rather than 
curtain us off. Let's get her on the edge so that we can make full use of her flaming head. And we will go from there. I've seen the um, gameplay videos, obviously, that have recently released for Troy, and note that it's been bought out by Epic. Um, exclusivity for a year, and it's free if you get the Epic Store on day one. I'm sure many of you are all aware of that by now. I have no interest of um, getting the Epic Store, but I'm, I might pick up Troy afterwards. But I'll wait and see what the reception's like, to be honest, because Thrones of Britannia is, to this day, still lauded as quite possibly the worst game in the Total War saga. It is universally reviled by almost every comment I've ever seen. And I'm sure there are some, some bits about it that are fun, and picking it up for maybe a fiver in a sale is probably worth it. But, um... I don't want to put money into Troy if it's just going to be another Thrones that basically dies a death because no one plays it. Um, oh, hello, there's trolls over there. So we hit them with some flames. Um, so I'll wait and see on Troy is the point of the story. But then, um, oh no. Oh no. You guys are all shooting, aren't you? Right, hit them with the head. Turn Go and shut down Wurzag. Nice. That unit has taken a pounding. Right, you guys here. Target those Orc Biggins. And let's get the Skyhawks into the side. And you keep those busy. The trolls didn't seem to do anything. Oh, they're Orc Boy Boy. <laughs> orc Boar Boy Biggins. I thought they were trolls. Sorry, everyone. We've also got the Dragon's Breath we can use now, which is handy. And... She can fire that. You didn't move in. And then she can recharge. Um, hit someone with a flaming bolt if you would. Nice, there we are. You guys on the side aren't actually really needed to be on the side. The enemy's not really bothered with it, have they? Let's move the spy guard over there and sort of close the trap around our enemy. Now, yeah, but here comes a larger chunk of their force. Turn in, did you get Wurzag? No, you... Oh, it's because you're on that, as someone has said. I should remember that. Lethal grace given form. Give a head through there. That seems like a nice line-up. Oh, it does hardly any damage at all. I oh, know it's sort of doing some damage at the end there. Yeah, and then hit them with that as well. Ah, oh, there's the trolls. You guys, trolls, target them now. Then you can hit more than one. Spire guard, stand your ground. Let's get those two out. Right, that should do us nicely. More spells. Oh, no, we shouldn't really do more spells until... Go and do that and help Turin. Where's Wurzag gone? Oh, he's over here now. Keep her in the sky, though, so she can keep doing the spells that we need. Move the lines out and support our fellows. Make sure you kill those trolls. You guys are still all firing. Look, there's targets over here. Let's turn and shoot. Do the same. Burn them all. Oh, I think Wozak's going to go. Turin's going to get him. Come on, kill him. Yes, nice. Now try and go out and get that one. Let's get her involved. She's on a dragon after all. Turn the line out. Similarly, it's by a guard. We got most of them routing and broken. Night Goblin Archers, please. Bring those down. Charge the Swordman in. 
as you say. Oh, there we are. It's over. All right, capture what you can. Capture what you can. Or rather, kill what you can, to be honest. It's not Skarsnik, is it? No, Snide, he's called, apparently. But Turin's got him. Any moment now, there it is. <laughs> That'll do us nicely. And the last threat of the Orcs falls. We move in on their almost last settlement. But perhaps we should move Hephaelia north and let Eltharion take the town in the south there. I'm surprised to see the Eshin still sending troops to the north while their homelands and their last vestige of Skaven society, if you can even call it that, is falling under the blue tide of the Lizardmen, and yet the Eshin still feel it is their place to attack me. Morons. But let them come. They will find nothing but death when they approach our lands. There are two Orc provinces left. But it's Ultuan that's the real problem. But Myron will be free to move now. Oh, please save me. You want trade? Oh, no. You want a military alliance. You want me to pay for it? All right. Go on, then. Of course, if we can capture another city, that will also give us a bit more money. See, we lost 9,000 gold coins, but didn't actually lose any money. Ah, oh, because of the battle, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. All right, let's get you to the northern border as soon as we can. His army is set and ready to rumble. Myron, the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper who, a long time ago, was kicked out of his actual gate. Eotain are doing really quite well at holding Nagaron back, though. And, obviously, we're now able to help. What was I going to build here? I was going to build a plaza, I think. At least I hope I was. Otherwise, we'll, I've totally forgotten. Um, what we will do is move you slightly closer to Arnhem. So go halfway and... Damn it! We've used all our movement. Oh, so just go all the way. What the hell? Oh, you're replenishing in a turn anyway. That's fine. And it's going up by one, even though it hates us. This place hates us. Oh, I probably should have built walls there, actually, I think. It would have been a better shout. Um, because we're going to be attacked. Elsewhere, everything else is quite friendly terms. Trelinia, money please. And yes, do upgrade yourself. Money please. <laughs> Alright, Eltharion. You are to move out and secure the last lands of the orcs. If the game will let me click on Karakazul. <laughs> please do upgrade. Ah, oh, Karakabees, what do you want? Oh, nothing really. I'm not really. We don't want to spend money on those things at the moment. Prince Eltharion. Prince Eltharion? Oh, the Eshin took back their land. So we might have to assist the lizard men in claiming that. But to be honest, I think I would rather... Well, first of all, you can kill them quite easily. That gets us a bit of money. And he's literally called Sneak. What an unimaginative name. Flaming Sword of Ruin with an H. Uh, cascading Fire Cloak. Or we can give her more of these sorts of things. Ah, I just got an achievement. Yes. The treasurer, whatever that is. Cool down of all sorts of winter magic costs. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. Right, your army could do with healing. So if we send you north to Mount Silver Spear and Eltharion. He's got a bit of sight range. So if we just move it a tile at a time. Mm, I really am quite tempted to force move him just so that we can get the speed out. No, because there's probably an army there. No, that's a silly Stand idea. Ready. Just a silly place. Oh yeah, look, they're right there. Rel. Eltharion will deal with the final hold down here. Hephaelia, you move north I and you way. should hopefully heal by the time you get there actually, but you're going to go all the way to Mount Gumbad. If I move into that though, do you do still heal? Oh yeah, you do. The Archmage marches. So she's going to heal in two turns, which is enough to pass us through that land. And Eltharion will then head down and hit that. And Myron has moved as much as he is to move. And we've moved as much as we are to move over here as well. Let's change up the um, Shift F11. There we are. Ta -da. That's how you do the um, camera hotkeys, by the way. is Shift and then F9, 10, 11 and 12 are the default ones. But let's change the hotkey over here to Kothic instead. So Shift F10, that's there now. All right, and then we can end the turn. Or do we want to kill off? Not really. It doesn't do anything, does it? If we interrogate, we get the mirror unit, the wah. We might as well do that. And we get scurry away and strength in numbers. What the hell? 
Let's end the turn. See if we actually lose 8,000. I think we probably will. We just got to wait until our relations rise. But to be honest, I think we'll probably win the game before our relations rise. Uh, so it's not all that important, really. But I'm just eager to see what the short victory condition screen actually looks like and whether or not I get an actual achievement for it. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, this is episode number 24. Uh, I don't think I said that at the beginning. So apologies for that. But it is episode number 24. And uh, I have enjoyed this campaign overall as we, we sort of look back at, as a, on a retrospective now that we are approaching the end. We're definitely not going to have any trouble. Eotain really is kicking Nagarond all around over there in Tor Anlek. So we'll be able to move north quite swiftly. Uh, with, with little hindrance, I mean, sorry. So move to normal. Where, do our, where does our border actually end? Tor of Res, Tor Cothic. Oh, it's around there. It's about there. Just north of that small little tree thing. What is that small little tree thing? Oh, it's a rock with some trees around it. Right. Um, Lethal grace given for. Oh, you're a long way away from replenishment. Oh, they're only a turn, though. I say to hell with it. Let's just move in. We've got more than enough to deal with their army. <laughs> Maybe not. Ridiculous. All right, Edithane. Can I offer assistance? How far can you move, Edithane? You can't move anywhere at all. I tell you what then, we will pop back into our own lands and get that turn of replenishment and then we'll see what happens on the next... Ah, we're about to run out of money. It's now, it's happening now. But we had 13,000, why do we suddenly lose more than we should have lost? I was hoping to be able to attack and sack Arnhem before we lost the money. Um... There's nothing that can be done. If we end the turn, we'll start losing attrition. Everywhere we'll lose troops. But to get that down to 4,000, we need to lose an entire army. I see the wind. Oh, it's Grom the Paunch. High Elven Archmage. Let's sit in Silver Spear and see what he does. Now, why would we do that? We might as well block his route, mightn't we? Let's just go out and block his route. Come at me, Grom. Eltharion, how far away are you? No, he can't do it either. I'm tempted to just go a turn and lose the attrition. Because we're only a turn away from Arnhem, and we'll be able to sack that for a lot of money, and we'll be able to sack Mount Greyhag, so I really am just tempted to just lose that money for now. And go from there. Oh, it's annoying, but I am going to do it. So all of our troops are going to lose a little bit across the board. But only for a turn or so, and then we can get money back from Arnhem. Oh, that's a large Nagarond army. Doesn't help when they do that, though, does it? Oh, is it because they were raiding, and raiding takes actual money from the enemy? Perhaps I should have made Eltharian raid. Oh, I didn't think of that. We've lost Evershale. They're cutting into our heartland. And yes, the Broken Axe are attacking. Oh, that'll buy us some money when we easily smash this pathetic army. Trolls, stone trolls, stone trolls, giant, orc boar boys, snotling again, orc boar boy biggins, black orcs, and then he's got a, a mighty little army of heroes, Tzark, Snaz, Gobba, Chompa, and Margul, Child Cruncher, and yet it's still horrendously in our favour. <laughs> oh, Grom, you've come back to finally enact the vengeance for your time spent in Atheldamara, and you have brought with you a field of daisies to attack against our line of spears. And they attack me, so coming at me is what they're going to have to do. Could use the forest, but I just hate forests. We're going to sit out on this nice wide plain. Well, we might as well just sit where we start, actually. Um, this time I'm tempted to use the spear. Fire guard as a main line, as they are our main archers anyway. Have those four just slightly behind. And then have that Athel Tamara. Uh, not Athel Tamara, sorry. Oh, they are Athel Tamara, sorry. I thought they were. The Faith Bearers to come around the sides. And take the Skyhawks with you. So you guys on this side, go nice and wide. Get the Skyhawks behind you. And you fellows. What's that coming on that side? Orc boar boy biggins. Take care with you and, and assist over there. And then you guys can, you'll deal with the trolls when they hit our line. We 
one every six seconds, that's about as good as you can get it, isn't it? We don't have very many reserves, though. Oh, let's pop that now. One per three seconds. Oh, yeah, that's much better. For duty. Faith bearers. Try and sort of wrangle them around that rock. And there he is. Once again. I think this is only the second or third time we fought him. And, of course, the first time we popped him in the prison straight away. Spell cast at For all Charge those. Acknowledge. Charge those. Run up the middle. Come out of defense. Come out of defense. Turn in. Don't be in defense. They hit our line over there. Run the s those around the way onto the sides. Something in the middle is dying quite nicely. You go and hit those big ones. Let's get her in the air over here. Turn in. Grom the paunch is your quarry today. Skyhawks, you're going to die. As you're now completely trapped out against the enemy's cavalry. Do what you can. Right. Understood. There's night going on just beneath you. Our main line has barely been disturbed and is able to just fire on our enemy. Like, there's no trouble. So everything that's come down the middle is dying quite nicely. She's got that one there. You guys keep firing on them. You go and assist. Oh, the spy, they keep you busy. Turn and you on Grom. Yes. If you can bring down those snotling units, that'd be good. Oh, and then there's Midge. Let's change up and target her instead. They're all running away. Why are they running away? Oh, because the army's moving position. A bit of fire blast. Don't really have a, a long line that we can target with a head. With a flaming head. It doesn't really matter. Again, this battle, to be honest, we could do with some of these people actually dying off. Why can't you target the giant? Are you too close? We've got the faith bearers killed off by putting them on the sides. Not unsurprisingly, but again, I was just not concerned. We're still going to win. I just don't play like that. Someone recently commented that, um, yes, it's fine that I don't min max, but the problem is, is that I don't learn from my mistakes. But I would say quite the contrary. I'm quite aware of what mistakes I make. I just don't care that I make them because it just does not matter. I still win the game. I still win the battles, generally speaking. I'm just not interested in winning every battle with peak efficiency. I just find that really boring. And unfortunately, if that does not conform with the style that people wish to see, then so be it. The channel won't do Warhammer anymore. I mean, I just, I'm just not that bothered is the overall core. I play it for a laugh, and as long as I enjoy it, I'll carry on playing it. And it's just a fun little experiment. There's quite a large gathering of the enemy up here, though. The, the faith bearers have done a wonderful job in uh, ensuring that the enemy stands together over there. And our archers have not died at all. So you could think of this as rather sacrificing our ground forces in order to save our archers. Speaking of archers, though, Grom is going to die because Turin's going to kill him. Let's pop your two powers. He'll go down quite nicely. How are we doing over here? Killing, dying to the trolls. Right. Let's just kill everything we have here. Right, every single one of you, please, target that giant because he's still alive. And this vexes me. Pop back of those. <laughs> they changed their mind. Oh, and the giant's dead. That was easy. Focus firing, working like a charm as ever. Oh, it looks like we are about to win. Yes, we are. There it is. Did Grom die then? Oh, you didn't even kill him. Oh, 
not interested. He'll just flee back to their last town. Now, hopefully that got some of our units killed, which will help with the burden as well. And we can re retrain them when we've got more money again. Um, obviously, we needed about 5,000 gold coins saved. Cause that stupid trade agreement. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But Grom has been soundly beaten. I mean, we lost 689, which is perhaps more than we needed to. But again, it matters not. Let's do that one and make even more money than we had before. And then, fingers crossed, we have not lost all of our money. And so we won't have lost too many units to attrition. And then we can move around and hit Kothic. But then I think we are going to have to come back and get um, Evershale. We're going to have to secure Ulthuan. And Iotena failing spectacularly at defending it at the moment. Obviously, I'm not helping them in any way, but... Um, I could do with helping them a touch more. If you come out of that, can you hit Tor Kothic? You can, but... And we did indeed lose all of our money. So, let's start with Altharion. How close are you? Oh, we need to change that to here. Prince Strike them you can't down. reach it just yet. Master of high magic. She did all right. And we need to keep going down that line. Let's get the Cascading Fire Cloak. She did lose a few units, which has saved us a couple of thousand. But oh, she can't reach them. Um, to be honest, if any army could die, I think Hephaelia's is probably the one, because Eltharion's over there now. She costs us 4,000 a turn. Um, but it is in Arnhem where we are about to hopefully get our money. They are, they will easily win. That's hardly anything. And yes, 20,000 gold coins. They will die. And sit in there and replenish. Fire. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. You've got everything you need down those lines, but let's improve your healing again. And Arwen, you need to be level 12 before you can start really assisting. So we'll get Foe Seeker for now. Right, so we aren't losing money now, so the armies we won't all suffer that attrition. I serve the um... We have suffered some attrition, and they are building an army there, which I didn't think they were, because I thought Eotain was doing well, but I was wrong. Eotain are beating Rictus off, but they haven't now got the force to... Why are you sitting in Lothurn, Luaren? Get up north, you silly woman. You, um, I don't really want to encamp you. We can take two of them down, but we can't deal with the city garrison as well. So let's move there and encamp, and... We'll take the turn of the of losing money. You only cost nine seven five. And Asylee, you give us dies, which doesn't really actually matter. I probably shouldn't have built that because we don't have any trade. We're still very low. Is it time? Welcome. We receive you. It's just not going to be happening. I can't believe even Eotain went. I cannot. Protector, the lady grants you impudent wealth. It's silly clicking through, really, isn't it? When it's got a red next to it, you know they're not going to do it. So why am I bothering? The money we get with them is just amazing. But look, even if I offer them all the money that I have, it still won't accept it. No way. It's crazy. That's how much everyone hates us right now. For going to war with someone that they bloody well asked for as well. But with chaos basically being defeated, everyone's desire to suddenly unite as one has dropped away. It's a shame we don't get money for killing these. That's what I really want. If we send Snickich back, actually, because we get 5% of their treasury. Oh, we might as well do that for Grimgore, because they're about to die as well, aren't they? That gives us a little bit more money. But that's the best that we can do for now. Ah, Arnhem. 2,000 to repair that. Should we do that? Yeah, might as well. And what is that? An embassy. Income from the port. This does have a port. And faction trade. Yeah, go on. Now, we don't want the Elven Gardens, though, because we don't have anything to use that for. Master of so you should be all right there. And if we get that, we can get another elven. Go on then, get the tower. All right, here we are. Hephaelia, what did I do with you? I moved you out. Well, if you can't get up to Gumbad. Ah, oh, Gumbad's about to fall anyway. So actually, all you need to do is keep Grom killed, and then we can just disband you. Which is good, because we want to train our armies on Ulthuan now. So I think we will do that. We will... If the dwarves take Mount Gumbad, then Hephaelia has no need to be over here anymore. So we can just disband her. 
Move that army off. And yes, they came and attacked. Yes, 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 yes. Right, this time, let's actually try and bloody beat them. We've got Sisters of Avalon, plenty of. Couple of Skyhawks for the flank. Spire Guard on the flank as well. Swordmasters. Two dragons, but primarily it's the Knights, or the Guardians of Tor of Rest, as I've re renamed them. The enemy doesn't really have any beasts this time, so we're only dealing with their infantry. So Sisters of Slaughter and Doomfire Walks. Let's try and get them killed off. Right, this battle is actually important. So let's bloody well try and win it. And we know what they're going to want to do. They're going to try and flank. Let's put the anti-flank units on the flank and not be an idiot about it. And then we're going to have to just try and control the Sisters of Avalon a bit better. And then, because if we can win this, the pathway to Kothic has opened up. Very tempted to corner camp. But then the corners of the trees are not utilising much. So we've got a bit of a hill here, but then we've got completely unexposed flanks and they'll be hidden in the trees. My gut instinct is to um, go for this area so we can our flank can hide in those trees. I think we will. So, a couple of units of Spire Guard, you're going to be flankers. Swordmasters of Hoeth, you're going to have to be the front line to protect the Sisters of Avalon, which is not really your deal, your favoured position. Let's have the sisters a bit curled around like that. Spire guard on that side. Skyhawks ready to assist and the dragons in the air. Knights, you can help on the flank as well. And then finally, Myron the gatekeeper go down the middle. Oh yeah, because the enemy's got to come through that gap. To try and flank over here, they've really got to spread themselves thin. Ah, but actually... Uh, team, I don't really want you to be team one. That's a bad decision. Let's put you like that. Right, let's start the battle. Their reinforcements are coming in from behind them. Let's get those spire guard up on the hill so they can get their arrows off and cover that side. And hmm, we'll wait and see. Move the sisters a bit further forward. Nice. Skyhawks, actually. Can you run up there and hide in those trees? Because you're hidden at the moment. Right, let's speed it up as she manoeuvres our army into position. Now, we've taken a bit of a beating, so our army is a bit on the smaller side. Our general is it has no benefits, really, at all. Our only ability is to be able to cage any enemy leaders. But here come some warlocks, so we're ready to tackle them. Right, Dragon, you're going to get involved as well. It's usually in melee this time, rather than always having you flying in the air. Those guys are nicely hidden over there. They'll capture anything coming on that flank. And the knights, you can cut anything off as well. Defending Perfectly order. placed. You guys actually cover that flank. Well, and face like that so that you actually shoot first. And then we'll turn you when the, when the time comes. Swordmaster of Hoeth. Move him over there. All right, keep coming at me then. They're going for a... They've got quite a lot of cavalry, don't they, actually? They're going to go for an almighty flank. Mm, much depends on us. I mean, our victory here is entirely dependent on our sisters of Avalon doing more than they normally would. Let's make them team two and make them team three. And then I can at least click on them a bit easier. Right, the enemy flank lines are coming. You fire as soon as you can. They're crossbows, that's not too bad. It's the Doomfire Warlocks I want down. Bring them down, bring them down, bring them down, bring them down. You go and shut them down. Shut it down early. Swordmaster of Pun! If the dragon keeps them in position, then the archers can fire. Dragon, all you got to do is keep them pinned. Just turn and fire, bring down those repeated crossbows. What's happening over there? Nothing yet. Take to the sky. The Sisters of Slaughter will charge in on you, which gives the Spire Guard time to just get a couple of arrows off. Those repeated crossbows are running. Right, we've got the Reaper fire. Mm, no, we're getting flanked over there. Right, 
That was so stupid. That was absolutely moronic, Gally. You knew absolutely that they were going to charge around the side. In fact, all of you... Uh, target that one first, if you would. And all of you... Target the archers. Uh, you guys, Black Art Corsairs. Hold your position. And the knights are in. I don't think they're doing much other than keeping the enemy busy. Pull them out. For the king. Not too bother about him. Have we got their black art corsairs? Oh, that line is already running away. Why aren't you running away quicker? To war. One. Yes. Beauty calls. No target good. them. Sisters of Slaughter, Sisters of Slaughter. For the king. No, I don't think we're going to win. We will obey. If I am being completely honest. We're keeping them busy up there, which is nice. Right, let's try and get you involved, though. And you've only got 19 seconds. We'll wait until we can get another blast off. You can help over there, though. That was silly to not get you involved. We will obey. Swordmasters way. come and assist. It's perfect. Orders. Who's that coming around? Hexteria and the Dire Overseer. All of you, target those dark shields. Right. Knights of Torgavel, come down and assist down here. Ah, oh, no, hit the Sisters of Slaughter. No, 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 do come and assist down here. You help as well, that might get a sort of mass route. Dragon over there, get to the sky, take to the sky, I need you over here. Come on, guys, you can do it. Hit what's running at you, hit what's running at you. Come on, your armor piercing. Yes. Making my way. This be so annoying. Acknowledge without faith. So we've done alright there though. Ready. Awaiting orders. Those Corsairs right in front of you. Turn and hit them. Dragon over there. Get yourself involved. Knights. Have you guys still not killed? There's 17 of them! Kill them, you stupid fools! Go and clear those off. You go and assist. I'll oh, take to the skies. You've got another breath attack. Come on, do it, 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 do it. Oh, bugger, the cavalry from the sides has come around. We've got the knights. Do not underestimate the knights of Torgaval. That's the last breath attack from the dragons. Oh, that was a perfect attack there, blimey. Well in, son. Knights go and assist there. The dread spears need a support. Right, yeah, you're going to have to target the units on the, the flanks. The spy guards won't hold. Ah, they've won on that side. Move around, move around, move around. We've got a lot of routing down the middle. A lot of routing down the middle. We just need more spears, I think. I'm not going to bother with Skyhawks again. They're way too situational. And they require an, an element of micromanage I'm just not willing to give. <laughs> Knights, can you go and hit those Reaper Bolt Throwers? You guys, go and help that dragon. Other dragon, go and help the other dragon. <laughs> dragons helping dragons, it brings a tear to the eye. They're pulling out. All of you, turn and fire on that. You haven't run out of arrows, have you? No. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. And now all of you target there. The dragon line has survived. The knights are doing all right. It looks... It's damned close. The knights haven't lost a single man yet. It's a shame we don't have a healing spell from him. 
More sisters. Those sisters of slaughter are a right pain in the neck, aren't they? They are incredibly good in melee. Right, knights, you've cleared that Reaper bolt throw. Moving on the other one. I'm not really sure what's actually still shooting at us, to be honest. Oh no. Team 3. Come and form a line. Don't worry about the bolt thrower, it's being shut down as we speak. And it's over! Can we get that last general? I don't think so, not without killing our own. This is absolutely surrounded by flying things, with any luck. Yeah, I think we might. I think we might be alright. Don't shoot at our own troops, though. If you could, that'd be really handy. If we can kill her, please, because she might be a relatively high level. <laughs> it's like a flock. It's like watching birds. Alfred Hitchcock would be proud. Yes! Pyrrhic it may be, but finally we've defended Torivress. Myron the gatekeeper lives up to his name. Top kills. No surprises. Dragon, actually. I was going to say Sisters of Avalon, but no. Knights of Torgaval. Fantastic. They are an amazingly powerful unit that almost single-handedly won that. The two dragons and the uh, Guardians of Torivress. Those three together. Have absolutely won that for me. But we definitely need to swap out those sword masters for a unit that can hold the line. And we just need more spearmen. We just need more spearmen. Remove their bombs. Could do with some money, but that'll subjugate give us a 10%. Them. Let's subjugate. Yes! The tide doth turn! The sea wall breaks! And the dark elves. Oh, the yeah, whatever. Welcome. Strength. It's Marathi herself. So why on earth the Dark Mar Oh no, we are going to fight this because if we can get the same situation as last time and have that reinforcing army bug out, this is a guaranteed win. <laughs> so Werner needs to just die, but then the army's got to be prepared and ready for the reinforcements. And then we'll see what we can. Now they might not bug out this time, but I'll take it if they do. I absolutely will jump at the chance of a bug out. And then we can... We're, we're managing to control our empire. I'm, I'm giving you an excellent example of how even when everything has gone quite tits up, you're still able to win, even on very hard difficulty. Uh, which is what's happening, really, isn't it? Do we want to charge into her with cavalry? I don't think we really do. For now, what I think we're going to do is put the entire army in the middle and we'll move everyone when the time comes. Because we don't know where we're going to be. And particularly the Eagle Claws, because you guys are so difficult to make work in this place. So we'll wait and see where Werner goes, and then we'll move Archers to, to prepare for that. She's going right, right, she's going right, so... Let's get some units up here, and then we can shoot her as she comes at us. And... The rest of their army though who is that and what is that that's Marathi herself I would have thought the rest of their army will go for this gate because that makes the most sense but they don't appear to be doing that oh wow the eagle claws are able to fire over the wall in very specific circumstances that's interesting I can't pin Marathi down might be able to, might be able to just about clinch it. But it doesn't look like they're going to bug out, does it? Well, our unit's going over there. It does look like the bulk of their army is going to the right-hand side. Did we hit Marathi? And then what else is this? The crows of... Crones of Cain or something? Right, you, all units on that wall, if you could actually just try and get off the wall. Oh, and that just killed more of their own than it did of us. That's handy. You three are in position. Yeah, don't worry about the general too much. Bring down those that are coming with her. Just run off the wall. Come on, just get off the wall. It does look like they are going to the right. Ah, oh, the eagle's doing really well against Marathi. It will be done without fail. 
Just shoot them. Just shoot them. There they are. Just shoot at them. Hit them with your bows. If we could. Bring down their sisters of slaughter. Alright, it looks like they are going right. So let's get them over onto the right hand side. Let's get him to help. We've lost quite a few arch units to just two. That's gone really quite poorly. I don't want their sisters of slaughter climbing the walls. Oh, they're not. Are they attacking the gate? I don't really know what they're doing. Ah, oh, they're climbing on ladders. We don't want them on ladders. Come off the wall, come off the wall, come off the wall. Oh, nothing ever seems to move fast enough, you know? Nothing ever feels like it's really running. I don't know where Marathi's gone. She shouldn't die, did she? Oh, no, there she is. She's still there. All of you, if we can kill these, that'd be really handy. And we're just definitely going to be able to kill Marathi any moment now. White lions, White lions you're going to cover that gap. Swiftly. And gate guard. you three gate guard who have gone the weirdest way possible, but get yourselves there. And they're moving over as well. Right, Marathi is about to die, so they're going to lose her. They're routing, and she's only got 300 health left. The entire army does seem to be going... Oh, well, I don't really know where they're going, actually. They're just sort of going that way. You are free to fire at will. Like the Sisters of Doom Witch Elves, for example, that you can absolutely fire at that you've chosen not to. Not as much protection on this side of the wall, is there? <laughs> yes! Finally! Marathi has gone down. Right, so you guys. Come and protect yourselves over here. Fantastic work, General. So, we did take a few more losses than perhaps we maybe needed to. Please tell me that you can shoot there. Yes, nice. They're going down the right hand side. You guys. Fire at whatever you like. But don't fire on that gap in the gate anymore. Silver Helms! Get the eagle on her. All archers, you can just form a line across that gap. Yep, they're running. Silver Helms assist the Eagle. Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw, see, 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 see. Stop what we're doing. Don't waste it on a pathetic band of nothings. Although, if you could finish them off before they hit the lines of trace, that'd be good. We might. We might be able to do this if they're going to come piecemeal like this, charge into their deaths, and then run away. Here we are, form up again, change your positions. It looks like they are going to kill Werner. I can't pin her in place though, so you've got to kill her. Oh, nice. Hit those Dark Riders. Come on, give him a volley. Give him a volley. Come on. Yes, nice. He killed like none of them. It's like one death. Come on, guys. Got to do better than that. They keep targeting Werner. Hardly any Dark Reapers died there. They really aren't bothering with that other side, though, are they? They've just said balls to that. Um, let's get you up on there, and at least we can get that tower to shoot them. We are outnumbered, but... 
stop firing. You've done what you need to be done. Hit those hand bows as they charge through, and then... I can't help but notice that you haven't fired yet. Give him a volley, come on. It's not that hard. It really is not that hard to keep them targeting there like that. Right, you change up, hit those dread spears. I'll give you another eagle. Keep killing her. Pull the silver helms out. They haven't bothered going for the white lion, so the tower is now going to start getting kills off, which is nice. But they are, again, just, they really want to go around this way. That's all they ever want to do. Silver Helms, you can help there. That eagle is doing a right number on her. Perfect. Kill all of those for me, please. And you, stop what you're doing. You three are the only ones that can actually do anything. So you three, let's get you around the side. I told you to stop. I didn't tell you to re-maneuver. Oh, God's above. It's a thing. Come on, kill her. Don't let her run. All you need to do is land on her, Eagle, and I think you've probably got her. No, it's just not killing them, is it? Oh, and there we go. We just run out of time. Well, if she runs away, that's still bad. They don't have a general anymore. Archers reposition. Too worried about those. Ah, oh, there's the Sisters of Slaughter there, though, actually. Oh, they've called in a power. Eagle Claw, just cover the gate. Ah, oh, and you've missed. Those Doomfires are going to get through. Archers, kill them. Eagle Claw. Get those Doomfire right in front of you. Nice. This is going to be so tight if we are able to do this. Pull out. Of course, we've still got them on the walls. The tower's still shooting on the enemy. Doomfires are going down. They're about to run out of arrows, though. Hit the Sisters of Slaughter. We're probably killing our own, but it doesn't matter at this point. Gate guard, let's get you moved in. Cavalry, you will form the line behind. Eagle Claw spreading quite nicely into the enemy there. They're wavering. The gate guard are up. Spears out. I believe in you. I believe in you. You stop firing. All of you. Hit those. 91 of them. We should probably swap you out for a unit that's not as important. Oh, did we just get hit with that thing again? We did, didn't we? Right, form a new line. Just sort of spray that area. I oh, know, do go for the Dread Spears actually. Ravages would do quite nicely as well. Are you finally all out of arrows? There you are. You've just got to form the join the line. It will be done. Can you hit those, please? Oh, they're maneuvering again. Come on! There we go. Nice. Multiple units at once. Do target the ravages. No, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. I shouldn't have done that. 
Alright, target there then. Everyone just target there. There it is. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. How we did over here? Silver Helm, let's pull back out. Let's get another charge off with you guys. What else is left to come, though? Hambos, more Hambos. The Lions of Trace have only got a limited lifespan left. Are you winning over here yet? Let's get you around the back and hit that unit in the back. Get them to break and get that gate guard unit in. Right, the last enemy units are coming now. So there's white lines on the wall. You can finally get involved because I don't think we need the tower anymore. 23 Dread Spears, losing decisively, routing. They did a lot more damage with the single bolt than they did with the... You just have to charge as you are. Our allies are not cowards. They have done really well. Are they running to the square? Oh, don't tell me they're going to get to the square and take the city when they return. Eagle Claw, now is the time. Two of you, you're going in melee. I don't think we're going to be able to do it unless we can free up this right hand side and I don't think we're going to do that. I don't know actually, they're doing alright over here. But they, it's just... Oh, it's damn close. The enemy troop count is 285. We have 600 people alive. How is it that in their favour? They're losing decisively up there. They're routing. Have you won over here? Come on. You're where our strength lies. Get the silver helms to move forward. Oh, they're routing. Don't worry about them. How are you guys doing against that? No, it ran away fully. It properly ran away. I think we might do it. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we might do it. And what's your name? Gerzin. You shall go down in history with Sire Sulain <laughs> as the great defenders of the heart of Ulfa. Oh, something's just happened. Ah, Scourge on is still alive. But now, surely, it must start turning in our favour. The numbers advantage alone. I think we are going to do it. We've got our unit fleeing. Those Hambos are just not dying. Another unit fleeing. Yes! <laughs> yes! It finally broke. Yes! That is a prime example of how that battle map would actually be fantastic if there was only one gate. With the enemy coming in a single gate and breaking and coming in in a bizarre formation. Um, it meant we were actually able to win. If the enemy had just done the simple act of moving half of their army to the other gate, we never would have held that. We can, if our army had to divide, there was no way we were going to win that. But we got lucky with some AI stupidity. And, Let's move uh, uh, well, AI stupidity, really. But Marathi has died. She has been sent packing for a foolish mistake. Oh, Musalon has arrived. Musalon, are we still at war with you? I know I'm not, but is Eotain at war with you? And more importantly, you will war with Nagarond, because if we can get you involved, that'd be fantastic. I don't think we will be able to get them involved, and I won't be able to do anything at the moment with no with relations being very low. Oh, no, they're at war with Eotain, and they've taken Toran, Nick. I will consider any suggestion. Do you want... I'm not paying you for a non-aggression pack. Ha <laughs> Huzzah! Prince Elthari. Mass charge has been done. Have I got any of those I can get? No. Uh, which one was mass charge? That one down there. Silver Helms and let's do the recall colonists finally. Ivress's Guardian. 
Avenge Tor Ivres. Impossible. They cannot. I'm not going to fight that. I'm afraid. I know it's it's almost the final battle of the campaign, really, isn't it? But uh... Grimgore stands alone. Who is it? It's Myra on the gatekeeper. Can you now go down the draftmaster? Yes, we can get the quartermaster in with him. I serve the king. Unthinkable. My visions predict fate. Uh, if I were to move on you, I will do my duty. You won't be involved. I wonder then. Mm, it's a right gamble. Do we move and try and get Kothic early? Garrison at Kothic, they've held it for a time, so it will be relatively. But if we let them go, they'll endure. If we go with this method, we can replenish and keep improving him as well as we get closer and closer to Quartermaster. Yes. No mercy. A strong. Going forth. Nice. No, I think that was the right thing to do. Oh yes, I think that was definitely the right thing to do. I will lead. Although we'll need reinforcements and we'll need them sharpish. We have secured the Wolflands and. I'll just get the trade one because we're not really too bothered. Uh, if I, has Gumbad fallen? No, it's not. Grom has. Led by the winds. And now we've got plenty of money. We've got a nice buffer. Gumbad is about to fall. So I think I might just do away with you now. So Turdin, I don't want to... I'm going to use you. So you're going to have to just go. So as I say, when we get close to the actual end of this campaign, which really is drawing near now, the orcs are going down and the eastern victories are, are ticking through. I'm going to leave Eltharion over here to mop up the Eshin and help the lizard men, but I'm going to send Turin back because we're going to have to send him back anyway. So he's going to have to run back, which will take forever. But Hephaelia, I think I will just do away with you um, and disband your army, and disband you as well. And then we can retrain you back over on Tour of Rest. And not only that, we're now actually making money, so it doesn't matter that our relations are very low. So we've turned the tide. It's just now a case of getting Ulthwan on board. And speaking of Ulthwan, before we end this episode... Musalon are at war with Eertain, and Eertain only, basically. They are never, however, going to join us in a war with Nagarond. No matter how much I want to give them. And give them all of the money that I have. That will stop. No. So that's a pain. They're not at war with us, of course. And at the moment, they're not at war with Nagron. So it may just come of its own volition. Attack. We might not need to worry. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I think we do need to get Evershale back, though, in order to get our short victory. Oh, no, we don't. We just need a rest. The Badlands. And all of those are secure. With no risk, really. So it's just Kothic and Trace. And the Orcs are going to die in the next episode. But for now, that is going to end episode number 24. So I don't think there are very many episodes left at all. We're really probably getting I down to it. Um, and I don't plan on taking Nagrand out, as I said many times. I'm just going to go for the short victory conditions and call it a day. And the Orcs are down to their final settlement, which the Dwarves will probably take on this end turn. So that's Gumbad gone. Ah, oh, no, they still have Karak Raziak. I'm going to have to send Eltharion up there to kill that. Uh, but not until we've at least got some semblance of peace here in these lands. Greyhag. Um, yeah, you can keep a rally field. Why not? Uh, I could really do with having a plaza in Crookback Mountain, actually, to get them to like us a bit more because they really hate us. <laughs> That's just because we've conquered them. But anyway, for now, that's going to end the episode. So thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. And I do hope you are looking forward to episodes 25 through possibly 29, but I'm sure it may be a little shorter than that. But until we speak again, dear friends, Navarre and Adem Peramad Melonin, and farewell. <laughs>